what's going on um it's been a while since i filmed again as per usual so i guess first thing first get you guys caught up on what's been going on i think last time i filmed we put the intake on i think that was it did the intake manifold stuff kind of talked about some other stuff but yeah anyway so i'll uh, show you what's been going on okay so i think i showed you the rockers are all rotten um but I had a lovely assistant come here, and she worked her fucking magic on both sides. And got them all patched up. She's a fucking wonder with uh, on body work. So, I mean, she was using what we had here, so it's not perfect. But, I mean, it's going to all cut covered up, but yeah, can't be more happy about that. And for all the help that she gave me. Uh, I have a full straight pipe from the back half back. Uh, you can see it's all V-banded in there. And then the muffler is currently just sitting over here. Because, well, right now I don't give a shit. It's loud. It sounds good. It does start and run. I did run it. It's got no coolant. So I haven't run it very long. I'll insert a clip of it running and me revving it just to like two grand. And, uh... And, uh... Yeah, then uh, I'll kind of get sh going on uh, what I'm doing right now. Uh, another thing I did, actually, was... Uh, Finally got my relay panel, which is kind of neat. So I started wiring all that up. And uh, those are my yellow fog lights. Those are gonna be auxiliary lights, two LED bars and spots probably. And then I'll have a circuit oops, on there for rally safe when I need it. And uh, so yeah, what I'm doing right is uh, I finally got my um, coolant water pipe crack pipe thing in from euro tuning but uh just keep so this is the factory one i just i don't know if it probably week before i pulled it out but uh definitely cracked and everything coming out so there's that that's the stock one and then of course this was leaking everywhere so valve cover was leaking pretty good so it broke everywhere around the uh flange so I was just puking coolant out, and the gasket is ridiculously swollen. Uh, you get the point. So yeah, replacing that. With this. Fucking dirty ass hands. Yeah, nice cast aluminum crack pipe. So that'll be nice. Oh, one more thing I did. Uh, this is the CTS 1.8T airbox. And uh, I just ground it down a little bit to fit the bigger map. And then I just got to build a bracket. I'm going to go to where the power steering line mounts. But uh, yeah, so that's going to be kind of nice that I get to still use that too. It's tight, but it works. Okay, so that was easy. You just like push it into the hole that way after taking all that shit off. But yeah, so I've got to wait for a new one of those. I'd like to get a cast one, but they're really expensive. So we'll see. We'll see if I can get one really soon. If not, it'll just be another one of the plastic ones and that'll be fine for now. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to figure out what else I can do here. Well, if you can't tell, it's... Uh, been a little bit since I've uh, recorded anything. Um, probably like four or five days, but my uh, COVID hair is now gone. So if you've been paying attention, it's just getting longer and longer. Anyway, so yeah, it's been a while. Um, I have been doing a shitload of work as usual, but I just never film anything. I'm so forgetful and I just fucking send it. But uh Let's, uh, there's not much that, well, I guess there's some stuff that's, anyway, I'll kind of show you. 
So, back it up there. So, front end's back on. Uh, I was going to do a different rebar. I think I explained that in a different video. But, um, for now, I'm just using the stock one. Uh, it's actually a little bit lighter. And I do have another one I've been drilling, trying to drill holes into. But this shit is made out of some sort of magical, or SGS, secret German shit. And it's just absolutely killing hole saws so i'll figure that out eventually and uh get that on to shed a little bit of weight and add a little bit more flow because i'll probably end up cutting a hole in the bumper to kind of match it all so we got a little bit more flow for that vr to cool down because the shit's gonna get hot um yeah there's not really a whole lot i've been doing i'm uh, kind of just like picking away at little shit um uh, but i explained one or two videos ago, I can't even remember because they're actually not even live yet. But uh, I explained in an earlier video that uh, I was waiting for a part to come in for the sunroof, and it's finally come in. Uh, it's all it was made to order by LFB Speed. It's a aluminum sunroof delete plate, uh, pre-cut everything. So that makes my life. Sorry about the light up there. Um, but pre-cut, pre-drilled, everything. All I gotta do is get some silicone, and then I can put it on. Uh, apparently with the rivets, it weighs 3.8 ounces, so I'm going to try and find a scale and then take the actual sunroof full assembly out and weigh it, and we can actually see how much different the, uh, the weight's going to be off the top of the car, which should help center gravity a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty excited because this thing is pretty sweet and didn't take me any work to do it, and uh, yeah, so... We'll uh, grab the box and see what I got. All right, so we're gonna go watch what bus coming together. Anyway, so side note: took the little castellettes off that, put them on this. Feel really bad about that because they look fucking good on this, but probably getting new wheels. Oh, what up, Chipmunk? Anyway, so go to my ABA Mark II. Um, I can talk about this a little bit more, but anyway, yeah, so as you see, oh, LRB speed, my apologies. Oh. Anyway, I haven't even opened it yet, LRB speed, check them out on Instagram and stuff, seem to be really cool people who make really cool stuff. Uh, oh. Eh. Jesus, fucking amateur hour over here. There, hold on. This may work a little better. Yes, I know, I'm cutting towards myself. Oh, fuck, I'm impatient. There we go. A little bit on those. Oh, sweet. Even got a sticker. You know, you buy parts. The most important part is that you get a sticker. It's nothing fancy, but it saves me a lot of trouble getting all the measurements and stuff, but hey, support people who make cool parts, right? Alright, so, plate, pre-drilled, 
get the deal. Uh, all the rivets and the proper size drill bit for them, which makes my life way easier. Sticker, always important, as I said. Gonna go right on the car. And destructions. But, uh, you know, who needs those? Kidding. I'm one of those. Measure once, cut five different pieces because you screwed up the first time, the second time, the third time, and the fourth time. <laughs> so, I'm going to need those. But, uh, so I think right now I'm just going to take the sunroof out. And we'll see how that goes. I don't have a scale right now, but I'm going to put it aside because I want to get that weight and do the comparison. So, yeah, I'm going to take the sunroof out, sunroof separately. Get to it. Okay. So, impact gun. T30. Um, going to buzz this shit off of here. And uh, hopefully don't hurt myself by dropping it on my head like I normally would do something. I'm just going to pull the... Now, of course, Ugh. sunroof drain tubes, pull those down, and we'll take this thing off real quick. and weigh it when I get a scale. Ah, now we got a sky light. <laughs> Big fucking hole. But uh, yeah, it should take some weight off the top of the car. It is quite the hefty thing. I was originally thinking it was like 50 pounds with the glass and the motor and everything. It could be like 40-ish. I don't know. Like I said, I'm going to get a scale and uh, weigh it up and see uh, what we're working with here. Or what uh, we're not working with anymore, I guess. So I think we're going to call it the end of this video. Um, sorry for the absolute, complete fucking randomness of it. I mean, like I said, it was filmed. I started filming days ago and then catching up and all that but yeah sorry about this it being like oh this is what i did and blah 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 uh at least there's some new parts in it um and small amount of work but uh, yeah i kind of have to stop because i think i'm gonna have the roof remainder of the roof vinyl wrapped before i put the panel on so kind of stand still at that but hopefully i can get that dealt with pretty soon and uh yeah so i'll try and be more steady with filming um like i said earlier in this video that uh, this is the ones earlier haven't even been live, so this is coming. So I'm even saying that's kind of redundant because you'll see them way before you see this. But anyway, uh, yeah, so I'm going to end it here, and uh, hopefully I can remember to film more. And yeah, anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching. I'll uh, catch you next time.